What's poppin', poppin' T-subs and t squad? So listen, before I get down to today's review, I have to let you all in on this brand new streaming service that's been around for about a year now, and it is called BK World Tube. Yeah, girl, BK World Tube. Who are BK World Tube? I'm so glad you asked, daughter. For all intents and purposes, they're the new black Netflix, where they show all of the latest and greatest black urban TV and sitcoms. They do everything from Love and Hip Hop franchise to the Real Housewives franchise to Tyler Perry's If Loving You Was Wrong, probably the haves and the half nots, and they even also do RuPaul's Drag Race. Definitely, definitely, definitely love that. So for everybody who is all down with supporting all of our black businesses, please click the link down in my description box and go on over there and get your BK World Tube on, girl. Tell them I sent you and they gonna treat you right. And now, on to today's review. What is poppin' T-subs and T-squad? So, child, listen, I have not given y'all a T-talk action news in a minute. And Scotty had just asked me, was I going to talk about this whole Jennifer Williams thing about the guy that, um... The guy that she was dating, some some dude in Atlanta, um, robbed her of her Range Rover, and you know he went on Instagram spreading about the text messages, um, that talked about how she was the one who said that Evelyn slept with Shawnee's ex husband, um, Shaquille O'Neal, and ay 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 and ay ay ay. Child, um, like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell, become notification gang gang. And if you really rock with my channel the way y'all say y'all do, definitely make sure to watch those ads. My PayPal and Cash app will be listed down in the description box. You can also donate to the channel by joining. I have two tiers, T-Sub tier, T-Squad tier. Both tiers are reincurring payments on your charge card every month. Feel free to cancel at any time. You can also donate to the channel by going over to teesprings.com slash Boutique for all of your T-Talk needs. Also, make sure, make sure, make sure to click the link that will be down in my description box for BK World to World Tube, which is aka the Black Netflix for all of your favorite black sitcoms, black reality shows, documentaries, so on and so forth. Definitely click the link, tell them I sent you, and they're gonna treat you right. Y'all, I honestly was not going to get up here and talk about this whole Jennifer Williams kerfuffle because I honestly could care less. Um, I feel like all of this is coming out now because um, basketball wife season is vastly approaching on us. Y'all already know when these reality shows come out, this is when scandals and teas start to get spilt to get people ready and revved up for the um, up and coming season. Um you know, the one for Scotty asking me about this, y'all. Y'all honestly will not be getting this uh, piece of tea talk from me. So I just want to read a little bit of what Showbiz Cheat Sheet, cheat sheet had to say about exactly what Jennifer Williams said happened um, on The Breakfast Club. And then y'all know I'm going to go in and I have. Um, so it says... Despite not filming Basketball Wives right now, Jennifer Williams just can't get away from the drama. After spending last season battling her on-again, off-again best friend, Evelyn Lozada, Williams should be relaxing during quarantine. But instead, she's asking for social media followers to help her find her stolen car. Jennifer Williams says man connected, man conned her out of her Range Rover. Williams has been keeping her fans updated during the coronavirus shutdown, even participating in Megan the Megan the Stallion Savage by posting a video of her of her take of the popular choreography. But unlike previous posts, her last Instagram post was not fun and games. Williams posted a split photo of a mystery man and her and her sitting atop of her beloved Range Rover and claims that she's been a victim of theft. According to her, a man named Aaron Nicholas stole her car, writing, he stole from me. He goes by many aliases, including Nick, Daniel, or Chris. He has conned many women and men to look out of uh, many women and men 
two out of vehicles and large amounts of cash. Lives in Atlanta area and frequents Detroit, Houston, and Vegas. Williams noticed William noticed that there's an active investigation and listed the email address of her attorney as well as called on anyone to contact the Georgia Police Department. She also asked fans to direct message her with any information on Nicholas. Um, and it goes on and so forth and so forth and so forth. Um, so apparently this guy named Nicholas Daniel, whatever he decided to be, is also the same man who went on Instagram not too long ago. His Instagram has since then been disactivated, but he was up there basically confirming that Jennifer Williams was the one who was telling everybody that Eveline slept with pig face ass Shawnee's ex-husband, Shaquille O'Neal, that he had all the text messages to prove it. I think he even put to, sent screenshots of the messages on Instagram, which, by the way, has since be del been deleted. Um, I'm more than sure that those are the same text messages that Tammy had um, and so on and so forth. But listen, this is how I feel about this whole situation. Jennifer, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about your beloved Range Rover being taken from you because quiet as it's kept, Jennifer, you have took enough from a lot of people. You wasted all of your years since 2010 to be the the the, the, the flunky and 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 the uh and and the do girl of Eveline Lozada and and Porky Pig Face Shawnee. You have treated so many women completely terrible for the same two women that have turned around and now turned their backs on you and back and backpedal and coochie pop in the handstand out of your friendship. So as far as I'm concerned, girl, this is nothing but karma. This is nothing but karma. It's hard for me to feel bad for you because all of your years of you plant trying to play Billy Badass as if you were somebody has now finally caught up with you. And you're and, and, and you know, it, it's just it makes it hard for me to care, to be honest, Jennifer. It does. Um, we always knew that Tammy was telling telling the truth. We knew Tammy was not lying on you. We knew that was something that you said. And listen, let me get on that for a minute. Because you the type of person that I can never be friends with because the minute we have a falling out, you therefore want to turn and try to tell every last piece of tea and dirt that this person has ever told you in life. In my opinion, you are the worst attribute that anybody could, could like <sighs> Jennifer. I don't care if he got your Range Rover good for your ass. I'm glad. Don't you got all this money? Don't you got all this money? So you should be you should easily be able to go out there and buy you a new Range Rover. Girl, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone and you're never going to get it back. You're never going to get it back. Not only that, you're never going to live this down. Ever. I'm more than sure Shawnee and Evelyn and, and Malaysia at this point is over there laughing their goddamn asses off at your dumb ass. And I don't blame them if they are. Because at the end of the day, Jennifer, it's like I said, it ain't nothing but karma. Karma ain't done with your ass yet, girl. Karma not done with your ass yet. Um, I mean, I really don't have nothing else to say. Like, I, I just honestly don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Anything bad or negative that happens to Jennifer, not that I want it to, but anything bad or negative that happens to her, I feel as though it's well deserved. She deserved it. And it is what it is. Kudos to you. You get you uh, to whoever the man name is. Um, John Jacob Jacobheimer Schmidt. You know, his name is my name, too, because, child, you running around with a man and you don't even know his damn name. Like how stupid, dumb ignorant, just completely brainless, is that? I always knew you was a dodo bird, Jen, but it's like, damn, bitch, Jesus be a backbone, a brain, um, uh, uh, some confidence, um, smarts. So, like, you've, like, I, I, and I've always called you the scarecrow. 
because the scarecrow don't have a damn but girl you shape like one you about tall as one and you think like one like who consciously be sitting around here being with people and you don't even know they real damn name talking about how he done con women and men out of out of cars clothes and that yeah yeah so then girl if you knew all of that beforehand why was you even with him and what made you think that you was going to be any different from anybody else that he's con And then the same thing that you turned around and you did to Evelyn and Shawnee trying to hurt them is the same thing that that man done did to you. That's what I mean by karma and you reap what you sow. What you put out there is damn sure what you gonna get back. Now you see how Evelyn and Shawnee felt when you were sitting around there telling everybody all about their damn business and about how Shaq slept. Uh, with Evelyn to get that shoe store, which quiet as is kept, I believe every single solitary word of it. Now you see how it feels. It don't feel good, do it? See, it's never no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Maybe now this will be a wake up call to you. And you will start treating people with the same level of respect that you that you feel as though you need to be treated. All of your years, Jennifer, all of your years it is it's catching up with you. It's catching up with you. You, listen, chalk it up to the game. Chalk it up to the game and just keep it moving, Jennifer. Um, Like I said, if you do get your Range Rover back, congratulations. Myself, personally, I feel as though you need to go on ahead and just buy you a new one, honey. Buy you a new one. If he's scamming people out of house and home like you say he is, honey, you ain't never getting that car back. Girl, how embarrassing is that to have to rely on your fans to, about your damn car? As me, it's a million to one Range Rovers out there, probably that look like yours, Jennifer. Them people ain't gonna find your damn car. Child. Girl. Shit, sleep with, sleep with the chief of police. You know, birds of a feather flock together. I mean, you know, she was a whore. You know what I'm saying? I'm more than sure you probably want to where you is. You ended up with Eric Keloid on the back of his head, Williams with his ugly ass. Then you turned around and got with damn uh uh that man with them woman shaped ass hips, Tim from Sweetie Pass. Then I see you taking pictures with Uncle Festa, aka Cisco from Love and Hip. Like you be throwing your pussy from the free throw line, Jennifer. So for you to ever sit up and try to talk about what anybody else do with yours. Do what theirs, I mean, child. Ugh, girl, that's all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. I just wanted to give y'all this tea talk because Scotty asked about it. And I'm more than sure a couple of y'all was going to start and flock to me and ask me about it too. So it is my take on it. I don't care. I don't care, girl. I ain't got it. And I don't know who got it. So I don't care. You know, I don't care. Um, y'all jump down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about all of this shenanigans that Jen got going on and on and on. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all live here. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. And I got my plane ticket. That push that be my starter kit. I just woke up and I rolled up.